hello and welcome i'm night from analocker and today's video i'll show you how you can unlock the bootloader on your pixel device all the pixel device devices same process to unlock the bootloader so let's start how we do the work but before i mention you why you need to unlock the bootloader so the bootloader unlock required for flash or install the custom rom or in install the root so you must have to unlock the bootloader otherwise you can do this operation and i tell you uh, one more line so that is if your device is brick some reason if your device is brick so if the bootloader is not unlocked before so you can't able to recover it or you can't able to uh, flash the device so i recommend you if you uh, uh, want long term use your pixel phone so you must have to unlock the bootloader so let's see how to do the work so you have to go to the settings then scroll down and then go to the about phone and scroll down and you can see the build number option uh, four time taps here four or five times okay then put your sorry pattern lock or pin lock or something then go back and then go to the system option then advance and you can see the developer option click here and you have to enable this OEM unlocking option some of the device have not enabled it like it's disable then you have to turn on it OEM unlocking and again you have to enter your pin or patent lock then enable it and scroll down usb debugging you have to enable open okay this is the setting for uh, opening time and now you have to turn off your phone and enter it on fast boot mode so i turn on or turn off it okay then press this volume uh, press this power button and the volume down button together okay this is first boot mode and you can see uh, our our device status uh, is locked so now we unlock it and you have to connect your phone with your computer now okay open device manager and then connect your phone and uh, now you can see this yolo icon on your uh, device name so that's mean you have not installed the driver on your pc so now search on google uh, google sdk usb driver and that is samsung official usb driver now we have to install it but if you don't see that type of yolo icon on the device manager so that that's mean uh, the driver is installed already on your pc uh, so we have to download it now so download now from here and I skip this downloading part it's complete now we extract the file okay now you just uh, copy this USB driver location okay now update the driver and just uh, select this direction okay android bootloader interface then next and now install so now my our driver is okay and if the driver is previously installed on your device so after connect your phone on first boot mode you can see this uh, driver on the top uh, corner on the device manager android bootloader interface now we open the minimal adb and first boot tool and then check our device is now connect or not so for check you have to enter first boot devices yes our device is successfully connected and now we just uh, type here first boot flashing unlock okay first boot flashing unlock and now we again enter and see there is uh, you have to again confirm 
uh, normally you have to you you they recommend you do not unload unlock the bootloader but you press the different key unlock the bootloader after volume down you can see this option unlock the bootloader and then uh, press this button power button now wait some time it will be reboot and your all the data will be erased after unlock the bootloader so remember that hey now see your bootloader is unlocked there is showing it's unlocked now we uh, go back start click start the bootloader is unlocked and software integrity can be granted uh, blah 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 the power button to pause don't press that automatically it's reboot and bootloader is unlocked so uh, this operation is very easy everyone can do this um, but if you have any questions so you can feel free comment below i try to reply uh, them there you have to wait some time to open it's loading and all the old data will be removed and it will be start up by default i remove the cable I remove the cable okay now we set up start connect the Wi-Fi then click don't copy if you want to copy so then click the next option I don't copy the old uh, data try again just keep Okay, so all are done. Thanks for watching. See you on the next video. Till then, take care. Tata. -ta.